So you've been in the industry for 11 years. Jesus you've Christ. put pretty much, also some YouTubers, they don't go down the angle of sharing their life. Whereas you very no. much have, including your family. Like you said, your younger brother, your mom. Have you found <laughs> that- like an insult. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> have, um, I, I think that when you put so much out of, <laughs> I'm really trying to form a sentence right now. When you put, you put so much of your life out there, yeah. has it created any problems because of that? Like, has anybody said anything or has anything happened to them or anything mm. like that? No, you know what? The only department I struggle in is it because of boys oh, and dating. Well, I was going to ask about that. That's the department. So you like, so me. shut up. We're going to ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, so, guys. That's really ask good the then. So you obviously put your family out there. Yourself, I guys, I'm so sorry. I need to. I so need. So, has your brother or mum or like whatever ever had anything bad? I, I guess I assume they've well, been like recognised like every now and mm. then. But my mum does YouTube. My mum's an influencer. Oh yeah, she does, doesn't so she? So like, she's kind of used to it now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When did that start? A little then? YouTube family, like, mm, like two years ago maybe. She oh, was always okay. in my videos, but then people were like, oh, I love your mum. She's making a channel. Yeah, she has such. She a saw that. Yeah, and was like, oh, fuck it, why not? Oh, and then oh my gosh, she's slaying the Tesco ads. So go, mum. Nice. Go on then, Julie. Yeah. Go on, Julie. Julie what the hell? Off. She knows what's going on. She absolutely bloody does. Good for she's her. Out. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> so, um, how do you deal? What just happened with your voice? I don't know. I was trying to hold. <laughs> that's a bit amazing. Of <laughs> so, how do you handle the hate side that comes with it? I mean, we all have experienced it from time to time. Mm. But I imagine putting so much of yourself out there, it you're basically giving more things for people to have a go at you over. How yeah, do you find that? Yeah, but the thing the thing is, when I was younger, I feel like it used to affect me more because mm. I'm like, you're just young. Like people yeah. are saying shit about the way you look and the way you live your life. And I'm like, who are you to judge? But I feel like now I've got older, I've almost realized as sad as it is, it's like part of the job Yeah, and it just comes with it. But the good will always outweigh the bad. So I'm like, I'm reaping the benefits of it. If you want to spend your life dragging me down, go you. I'll go out and live my best life. I love that. I agree. That's, That's such a good way to look at yeah. it. Like, if you think about it, no matter how much I've ever hated anybody online, like even if I, like before doing all this, if I was like, oh, that guy's an absolute toss pot, mm. I wouldn't ever like comment it or like tweet it. No, neither. Yeah. It's, it's like, there's like, it just, I feel like it makes you look bad. If yeah. I, yeah. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So, like, and the thing terrible. is nine times out of 10, these people are hiding behind a false account. Or, like, it's a, all like user two, three, four, whatever. Yeah. And I would love, I've I've been in like, I mean, obviously this has happened. You you probably kind of had a more gradual growth and I'm sure yeah, that you had certain videos yeah. that like made you skyrocket, but at the end of the day, you've been doing it for- But yeah, like it's been properly. very like steady. Yeah, yeah, whereas like I kind of got thrown, I mean, you as well, we kind of got thrown in out of, like literally I've been doing this out for like two well. years, which yeah. is mental. Um, and because of that, it was a big shift in my lifestyle. Like I yeah. literally went from, just going out to clubs with my mates, like being an absolute dickhead, like having the best time of my life, to going back to that same club a year later and having people like grabbing me for pictures and like I yeah. literally was bleeding from my neck because like these girls, long acrylic nails, they were lovely nails to be fair. Um, but they don't, yeah, it, may, it might have been you, <laughs> I don't know. It might have um, been me. So how have you found that in like terms of going out with your family or even just going out in general? That I feel like people just love to film videos yeah. when you're out mm. in clubs mm. and they're like, oh, that's thingy, blah, blah. Mm. And I've been caught like kissing people in clubs before. Oh, and have been you? On TikTok and I'm like, really? <laughs> like, but I just feel like, again, with, it's, it's the same with the hate. I'm just like, mm. if you're going to spend your night filming me, then yeah. enjoy your like night. With those videos, if ever I've seen anything like that come up, even if the person's like clearly on something or something like that, I see it come up. All the comments are if they're if they've never done anything wrong, like they're just widely respected as like a decent person. All of mm. the comments are just like, why? The f why are you even filming? Them? Why are you like, filming? Yeah. Them? yeah. It's like, or like, oh, they're normal. It is. Like, it's like yeah. everybody goes out and has a good time with their friends, and if you're going to spend that time that you should be enjoying filming somebody else, it it's weird. like it is weird when you think about it. And I get that people see somebody that they've seen on their phone or on the computer for years yeah. and they're like, oh my gosh, they don't know how to act. And I think that some people just handle it very wrong. But again, I would never be like, oh, weirdos, like fuck off. Like I would never- Oh, neither. no, like, I would never do that. at the end of the day, people just freak out, don't they? They, they almost forget how to act sometimes. 
and it's it's very interesting sometimes yeah i actually it's... like meeting people in clubs oh me too i think that that's probably like one of the nicest places to meet people because yeah, you've had too. a bit yeah. of a drink and you're just like Woo, Hello, should we get shots yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what's been your worst fan encounter someone cl- climbed over my fence what when i lived at home no they just climbed yeah. into your garden yeah me, oh. my mum and Atticus are sat in the living room and well, these two people climbed playing, like, over. Football? What, what do they do? Just no, up? they just climbed over the fence and tried to come up to the window. <gasps> so I I remember I ran into the kitchen because I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? And then my mum was like, go, what the fuck? You know, blah, blah, blah. So mum yeah. sorted out. But yeah, they just jumped over the fence. <laughs> Shit. That is wild. Because I feel like my old house was quite like recognisable oh, in the area people? if you knew where right. I lived. Yeah. Did people so, yeah, find just... your address though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my well, gosh. So they climbed in. <laughs> Even where I live now, and I, I <laughs> finally been climbing for hours. <laughs> Jesus, God! No, but like, I live in an apartment building now, so it's fairly hard to figure out yeah. where. And someone come and knocked like on my sized. door. <laughs> Spider Man. No, honestly, right. someone come and knocked at my door and was like, "Oh, you're on the I was like, "Yes." And they were like, "Oh, we saw your apartment because we saw your pampas grass out on like outside." Oh so we worked out like what corner you were, That's and I'm like, weird. "I'm not." too low down like it would be quite hard for you to figure out where yeah that is wild i when i was at uni in newcastle i had people found out where i lived and they would come at like midnight or like three in the morning bang on our door like shouting my name because they obviously just come in from a night out or something and i was literally on a student street so again that's why i dropped out because it was like it's i just couldn't handle it though i said i'm kim kardashian now do you know what i mean like i can't (laughs) be living this way no but it is it's scary and i think people do it in a way of oh my gosh it's oh my gosh like because they yes. think that they're friends with you which i'm sure that if we sat down and met each other naturally we would have a lot in common because you like my content a hundred so we would probably get along really well but yeah. going about things in that way is not a normal way to meet mm. somebody no. especially if you admire them it's very bizarre have but yeah been, have you ever been recognized at your doorstep I've been recognising the building that I live in now. I've been recognised in the lift. And I was like... Yeah, I have in the lift. And it's quite a small building as well. So I was like, oh God. And I've never seen that person again just because I was like, oh, it, it, it's just a bit weird. It's a bit weird of a thing of like, oh, it's nice that somebody like has recognized me and we get to have this nice conversation. But then it's also a thing of, oh, will they tell their friends where I live? Will they post on the internet where I live? Like things like that. Well, George was definitely recognized on his doorstep because he wants to be involved in the conversation. Yeah, so go on. I have, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, go on. There's only one reason. To, he's I'm like, joking. did you ever get, have you ever been recognized three steps away from your front door? No, I, I have. That was, a, that was a valid, valid question. Have you? Yeah, but I was, like, <laughs> I was, I was, it was, it was more of like a, as like a delivery driver or something like that. So oh, that would have like no. made sense. But no, so I, I had, I ordered delivery, <laughs> and I opened. The, it was just a really weird situation. I opened the door because the delivery driver was like, "Oh, I'm almost there." I opened the door. The guy, somebody was delivering a parcel. The moment I was opening the door, they were like that. <laughs> I opened the door, they were like, "Oh, like parcel," and then the delivery <laughs> driver came and went. You got your got your food here. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? There's some guy walked behind them and just goes, hey, you do TikToks, don't you? And I was like, this is the weirdest thing. It was like a crowd of three people just at my door, just all wanting different things. All of your famous. Fo- I, Literally was, all of his odd. followers I mean, in one two of them were, One was a delivery driver, one was a, deli- a food delivery driver, the other was just a random pedestrian. But it was oh, a, so you hate random pedestrians. You think that people who don't have delivery- Just say it with your chest, George. Yeah. Fine, oh my I God. hate the normies. Wow. <laughs> 